Okay, this is just a quick video to show uh, mostly for capstone students how to move between portrait and landscape in Word and to be able to uh, use both functions freely. So I'm going to start off my document in normal format, that is in portrait format. And maybe I got my uh, my title page here, so it would be big title page. And then maybe I want the next page to just have a bunch of regular stuff on it. So we got an Excel worksheet. I'm going to copy a bunch of Excel over here so we can see roughly where that lays out. So I grab all of that and I'm going to go put that back into my Word document. And then maybe I want the next page to be landscape so it can accommodate something a little different. So the easiest way to do this is I'm going to go to page layout and I'm going to go to breaks and I'm going to insert a next page section break. So it's not the page break, it's the section break. And the difference is when you make a section break, it breaks all the formatting. So it restarts all the formatting. You're not going to have um, a continuity problem. If you just do a page break, it literally only cuts the page, but the formatting still stays the same. So we do next page. So now I'm on page three of my document and I'm going to now switch the orientation to landscape and you can see what happens here that the first two pages are all portrait as they should be and the third page is landscape and now I'm going to go back to Excel and I'm going to choose a different size document here and grab all of that and we can put that into our landscape page. So now I've got some portraits, portrait, landscape, and then I go after the landscape and I want to switch back. Maybe I even want to do two pages of landscape. I can sure do that or as many pages as I need. And paste that back in so we can see here. So now I've got a couple pages of that landscape and then I say, all right, I want to go back. And so I'm going to go down here, same thing again. I do a page layout and I break it and I do next page and I'm going to swap that back to portrait. And now anything from that point on is going to look like portrait format. And again, I can just throw away that throw a Excel spreadsheet in there and we're golden. That's it. And if you do things like page numbering, the page numbering because Word uses the entire document for its page numbering, so it's still going to have the same page numbering all the way through. Sorry, I always forget to do the page numbering in Word. So you got your page numbers all the way through, whether the page is portraits or landscape. And that's it. I hope that's helpful, and thanks very much.